Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to set up an OKX free Bitcoin futures grid trading bot. Now, you will have the option to either go long, short, or neutral. And in this case today, I will be deploying this particular grid bot in neutral mode. Now, if you're not familiar with how a grid bot actually operates, it's extremely basic. A grid bot is made up of open limit buy and sell orders, which are represented on this graphic by green and red lines. The red lines would be your sell orders and the green lines would be your open limit buy orders. And what you're looking for as far as price action out of a grid bot is some volatility, chopping sideways type price action action and depending on what direction you're trading if you're going long you would want to see price action slightly trending up now if you're going short then you want to see price action trending slightly down now in today's video i will be deploying a neutral grid bot as I have had my best success with futures based grid bots when they are neutral. And so what that basically means when I deploy the bot, if you see this yellow line running through the graphic here on the screen, that would be my deployment level. And if the price immediately goes down, the bot will open up long positions as it buys at a lower price. And when the price goes back up, it will sell for profit. And if the price then crosses above the yellow line the bot will then flip to short and start opening a short position as the price goes up and then once that price rolls back over it starts taking profit on the way back down so i think that's enough jaw jacking let's get this bot configured and then deployed so if I jump over here to my OKX account, the first thing you will need is obviously an OKX account. And if you don't have an OKX account, I will drop a link in the description down below. And if you use the link in the description down below to join OKX, you will receive a 10% rebate on your trading fees. Now, once you have an account established, then you need to obviously make a deposit and you just come over here to assets, click on deposit, and fund your trading account. After you've done all of that, you're ready to deploy a grid bot. And there's a couple of different ways you can access the trading bot dashboard. The first one is you can come over here to trade and you can see down here at the bottom option is trading bot. You can give that a click or you can go directly to the trading bot right from the trading dashboard right next to the pair you're trading and just give that a click. So if I click trading bot, that will pull up a list of different trading bots I can deploy on BTC USDT perpetual contracts. You'll see the spot grid bot is not available. However, the futures grid bot is. So if I give that a click, now I have the parameters required to set up and deploy this grid bot. But first, I obviously need to select my pair. And if you come up here to where you see BTC USDT perp, you can select from a variety of different pairs, but they will need to be the perpetual contracts because this is a futures. So anywhere you see the perp in blue letters next to the pair, that would be a valid pair to trade with one of these futures grid bots. In this case, BTC USDT perp is what we're going to be trading. Next, I need to decide if I want to configure this bot myself or select the AI strategy. If I give that a click, you will find a back-tested seven-day annual yield. Now, back-tested results do not guarantee future results, so I wouldn't put a whole lot of weight into that. But you can see that the AI parameters would have a 485% profit during that backtest period. The price range it's looking at is 32.9 to around 44, almost 6. Grid quantity was only 5, so it had a pretty wide grid spacing. And thus, the profit margin per grid was approximately 5.5 to almost 7% per grid. And that was only using 1x leverage, so essentially not really using any leverage. So the odds of being liquidated are pretty much zero. There's still a very small chance, but it, for the most part, it's pretty much zero. And with that being said, because we are trading futures contracts, you have the possibility to use leverage. And that can be considered extremely high risk anytime you're 
using leverage and there is the possibility of being liquidated so you really need to do your own recon understand your own risk tolerance and risk management before you deploy one of these grid bots what i'm showing you here today is not investment advice but it is more of a how-to educational video. You need to come up with your own strategies based on your own recon and your own risk tolerance. Now, if we take a look at the AI strategy on the short side, you can see the back-tested results is 104% during the back-test. And then if we take a look at the AI strategy neutral back-tested results, we're looking at about 500% profit during that back-tested time frame. And so at this point, if I wanted to deploy the AI strategy, the price range has already been configured, the number of grids, my estimated profit is based on those number of grids and the price range. The leverage is pre-configured. I cannot change that. It's fixed at the 1x. And so all that would really be left really for me to do is probably give this bot some ammo like 500 USDT. And so my total investment with leverage would be 500 USDT as I am not using any leverage. And it looks like in the future it will break out the estimated liquidation price. I have both long and short since this bot is neutral. If you're going long, it would only have the long liquidation or vice versa. If you're going short, you'd only have the short. But when you're going with a neutral grid bot, there's a possibility of being liquidated if the price goes against you in either direction for too long. Now, before I deploy the bot under the advanced tab, I can set a take profit price and a stop loss price if I wanted to. And then I could click create. But for today's video, rather than using the AI strategy settings, I will show you how to configure the parameters yourself. And you just click on set myself. And then in this case, I want to deploy a neutral grid bot. So I select neutral. And for today's purposes, I will be trading BTC USDT perp contracts. Now I'm ready to configure the actual settings for my lower price. I'll set this at say 32,000. And then my upper price will shoot for 40,000. And where I come up with these figures is basically prior support for my lower price and prior resistance for my upper price. Now, the number of grids I actually want the bot to deploy, we'll start with, let's say, 10. And then I have the choice of arithmetic or geometric. Now, the arithmetic places the grids based on a fixed price interval, for example, every $20. For this particular bot, I will be using the geometric, which will set the grids at a fixed percentage. And thus, I'll end up with wider grid spacing between each grid. Now, with my grid quantity and the grid spacing type set, you can see the estimated profit margin per grid is around 2%. Next, I need to set my leverage, and you can see the default is 1x. I have a choice between the 1x and 5x. Obviously, the higher you go on your leverage, the higher the risk you run of getting liquidated. And so I will select 3x as my leverage. Click Confirm. Now, by selecting 3x leverage, you can see my estimated profit margin per grid has increased 3x. So now I'm looking at 6.33% profit per grid. Now I need to give the bot a little bit of ammo or used margin. This is going to be my initial investment amount. And I am going to give the bot 500 USDT, which would bring my total investment with leverage to 1500 USDT. Now, unfortunately, it does not look like the estimated liquidation prices are currently active. This is a fairly new grid bot platform. So hopefully in the future, the estimated liquidation prices will be available. Now, since I'm going neutral, I have both a estimated liquidation price of long and or short because I could get liquidated in either direction. But currently that Intel is not available. So the last thing I need to do is click create. I'll get an order confirmation. So now I can click confirm and I get a message that my used margin must be greater than basically 1800 USDT. It would be nice when I'm actually configuring the grid bot that it told me that ahead of time, but so be it. I will go ahead and try to reconfigure this and get this bot deployed. 
and so I'll adjust the lower price up to 33,000. I think I'll leave the upper price at 40,000. Grid quantity, we'll drop that to five and see if that makes a difference. It certainly does as far as the estimated profit per grid. It's now bumped that up to over 11%. And so let's scroll down, click create and confirm and see if we can't get this bot deployed. Well, that got us a little closer. It's now requesting that I have 916 USDT in order to deploy this bot. So I know how to fix that. I will just come over here to the used margin, bump that up to 1,000 USDT, click Create, and Confirm. And while that is actually creating the bot, it is important to note that with the increase in margin, I have increased my total investment to 3,000, which again is just my initial investment multiplied by my leverage. Now, if we scroll down to the bottom of the page here under the bots tab, you can now see I have one active bot. So we were successful in getting that bot deployed. And you can see under the futures grid bots, if I give that a click, that will bring up the details for the BTC USDT perpetual contract bot I just deployed in neutral mode with a price range of 33,000 to 40,000, a total of five grids. My used margin or essentially initial investment is the 1,000 USDT. And currently there are no other real stats as I have just deployed the bot. So. With that being said, I will do an update video in the future on how this bot is actually performing. So now would be a good time to shoot the subscribe button. If you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment section down below. I will drop a link to OKX in the description down below. And until next time, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.